Robert's bases. We've uh, in previous ones we've made the base like this. Uh, that is gorgeous. Yeah. What I'm going to do? I'm going to get the basic black. I'm going to start off, and I'll show you how to get something similar to this. So what I normally do? First thing I do, I normally paint the base flat black, matte black. That's just to me a matte black paint sprayed onto the the base. Now, as per there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a little bit of texture, so I'm going to take some grey, it doesn't matter any type of grey you want, and then I'm going to dry brush it, take a stiff brush, take most of the paint off it, and then start dragging the paint across here, just lightly drag it like that. See how that, and that's starting to give it just a little... I have to get notes. Okay, alright, alright. Alright Harvey. That's me. That's me. Otherwise I'll never remember all those steps. Well, I'll, be, I'll be on TV. Really? Yeah, we're just gonna, he's, he's, making a, he's, gonna, he's gonna video it, so. All right. Now, you see, how, you see how it's starting to give it a bit of texture? Yeah, it's giving it some body. Yeah. So you can actually see what it is. Yeah, a little bit of texture, okay? Just, that gives it more of a 3D effect. <laughs> Then we might have a go doing that. I'll give you a little bit of brush. Use it. Use this one here. Just try a little bit of dry brushing. Just put a tiny little bit of paint. Take most of the paint off, and just lightly draw draw across there. Don't the pattern. Just just draw just draw across. Just like that. Yeah, just yeah. That's right. See, see how it's bringing it up. You don't have to just just lightly bring it across, and that will start to give it a bit of a 3D effect. It works very well. So the matte black first? Yep. First of all, paint the base with the matte black and give it a black finish, okay? Okay. Alright, so you've got the grey there. So what colour grey are you using? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't this happens to be the XF75. Okay. But now I'm going to take a little bit of this, this, this is this, this a desert sand colour, and okay. desert yellow. Okay, so let's take that. Oh, bit. my favourite colour. Oh, my favourite colour. So I'm just going to... Dunkleville! Just gonna, you have to be, you know, don't, just whatever you've got left over, you don't have to use anything, anything, don't quite specifically buy XF75, it's Japanese grey or something. So just, I've got different greys. Yeah, yeah. I'm curious which ones you're using. So what street is this supposed to be? Europe? Um, it could be anywhere. Anywhere, anywhere. alright. Presumably Europe, there's not too many cobbled streets. Well, there's just in Quebec City, of course. Yes. And in Montreal, you can find them. You look hard enough in the old city. Yeah. The old, old Montreal has them. Yeah. Worst place to park the car. Guaranteed. Yeah, just, just if you can find a place. I know. <laughs> Tell you, there's some fantastic restaurants in there, though. Absolutely incredible restaurants. You see, I'm just, this is giving a little bit, an extra little bit of tone to it. Just yeah. a little bit of tone. So, I mean, you can continue doing this to your heart's content. Put different shades on, lighter shades. I wouldn't have thought of the desert yellow. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It's good. I'm not going to put too much of this on. This is, this is just a little bit, just to lighten up one more, one more shade. After almost before and after. Now you can you can play around with this for as long as you want to get different so That was number one, number two, number yeah. three. Right? Uh -huh. So the last one was what? Which color? X nine. Brown. Yeah. So what we can. X nine. That doesn't. It doesn't really matter which ones you use. Number two was X F fifty nine. I got that one. Yeah, yeah. See here we have the. The standard to pick up. Now, what I'm going to try. You you can play around with this as long as you like and get the desired effect. Okay. But I, I could spend maybe another half hour. I've got time. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. Another thing you can use. Another thing you can use, you can use oil washes as well. Oil wash. And it will run into the into the, uh, the crevices. Yeah. So you, you put the oil right over the, the acrylics? Yeah. Without uh, a barrier? Yeah. Oh. 
Well, if you think about it, that's what really would happen. Oil leaks. No, I realize that, but it doesn't. <laughs> usually, though, when, when you put oil over acrylic, it doesn't. Uh, it's been driving run. Moreno. Oh, yeah. No. Never drove. Never you would drive Moreno. You said to a Frenchman. No. Citroën. Citroën. Same difference. Un vrai citron. Okay, no. Excuse the expression, same shit every day. <laughs> no, it's okay. Oh, I can use this as this. Alright, so I'm just going to take a little bit of the oil there, put it in there, and we'll take a little bit of uh, this. All right. So, what do you do with the white? Do you put some white as well? Yeah, just lighten it okay. up a little bit. The, uh, yeah. Can you use enamels instead of oils for that, or does it react differently? No, this is, this is, no, it's fine. I'm just going to get a little wash up of this, all right? This is some burnt amber, and I'm just going to paint that in there. Is that going to work? Let's try this. Well, what's the effect you're trying to get there, Sam? Yeah, this to be in this, in, like, in the center there. Like, in... I mean, is it supposed to be really an oil leak, or...? No, it's just, it, 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 it just gives some color to the... Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Let that dry soak in. I'm just going to go over it with a brush here. I'm just going to get... Yeah, I'm going to get that. Another thing you can do. Another thing you can also do, if you want to, you can also to get the same effect to a certain extent, is you can use passed out these uh, pigments. pigments yeah. You can put pigments in there. Oh, you, you, you got your shirt. Actually. Join the club. I've never, never tried flying brushing before. Just a tiny bit of paint. Just a little bit. Yeah, just a tiny bit of paint. Just a tiny bit of paint. Just a tiny bit of it's yeah, no, the weathering is, is, is very subjective. Inventive and, um, but it's also very um, it's so easy to get what you want. And it's so easy to go over. Oh, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I've never done it. Um, the only thing I've ever done when it comes to weathering is that takes the tension off. Yeah. That's about it. But I did the the tank. I I I wanted to tone my weathering down way down. So I just hit the absolute minimum and I left it. And even though it was my it, I was saying to myself, no more on, I kept like, no, no, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> no. And it actually blends quite well. I get an excellent. Sorry? In, which one is it? The uh, Canadian one on the, uh, the road that's brought up. Excellent. Excellent job. Now, what got me though was the first time I tried using an airbrush. And um, I was surprised how easy it was. Yeah, well, that's a lot of this. This is like cut and paste with Uncle Sam. He's a rocket dust. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> they have that too. I'm sure they do. I just, I mean, colors are fine. Uh, you know, I, have, I don't have a problem with colors. Here it's special dust. Only Middle East dust. It's scale water. Yeah, scale water. One seventy seconds scale water. This, this is, uh, That's the funniest thing I ever saw. Puddles. Is this a gel? Yeah, it's just, it's just uh, water. It's just Real, I mean, no, 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 no. It's it's. Flat. Like flat, clear flat. Yeah. Oh, okay. Clear flat. okay, all right, clear flat. They just put it sense. over the areas and it looks like water more or less. Like, uh, I thought it was steak. a gel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let that dry, okay? Let that dry. Oh, yeah. 
I'm just going to try and give you some ideas to what you can use. So what I'm going to use, when this is drying, I'll go back to this one. Now, another thing you could use, if you wished, is... Well, if it's like, for example, uh, we... Uh, if you wish, in the fall, you can get this stuff. This here is leaves. Oh, I like that. How'd so you get them? You, you can use? buy these. You can buy these at uh, some of the stores, like um, Michaels. Uh, not Michaels, but in some of the hobby shops. Or a model railroad stores will have them. Yeah. Actually, they have them in the Dollarama. I've seen it. Really? Actually, that, that's that's different kind. You know what this, uh, those are? That's actually uh, pine, pine cone needles. They look real to me. Somebody was employing them with your diorama. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd never think I'd Oh, well. Yeah, I said to the wife, when you go over the next time, I'll look there. Um, close plates. This big. Is that yours? Yeah, so that's what I did before. I'm going to have a look at it. Especially when you're in small scales. I'm going to have some tweezers. I didn't get my tweezers, so. Just pick up a bunch and throw it over. That's what I was just thinking. Yeah. You shake off, yeah. Is he trying to do a fall scene? Yeah. You see, what I like to do is put a tree in it's It's really good glue though. Yeah, it is very good. Uh, yeah. That and the Canadian tire stuff. I don't know if you've ever used that. Just their generic brand. Yeah. It's pretty much the same. And that stuff's great if you thin it out with water. You can spray it over things and everything just sucks you, right you to it. make a jar of pollens up. Get, get uh, tissue paper. Oh, yeah, and then oh, mix it with that. Yeah, I've never heard that's what I was using. And it was still like I ended up with so much thinner. Like, I was just 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 like, it's the boring type of thing. Yeah. 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 This is Adam Wilder's. Try this here. This is Adam Wilder's European mud. Yeah. What is that like? Have you, you tried it? Or? Oh, no, no, this is yours. Does it, I bet you any money he's got an English mud, European mud. Oh, probably. I wouldn't doubt it. Russian mud. Oh, definitely. Have that Russian. That's right. Especially if you're doing something like a T-34. Now, pretty soon, I'm going to be trying my first tape. Uh, at least you're starting at the top. Well, the thing is, what I've got is uh, a picture at home, and uh, the guy that's in charge of this tank is Colonel Von Luck. Oh. And I think he's a relative. I think. Really? Yeah. We're from Germany, originally. 
father's grandfather fought for the Kaiser. And my grandfather fought for the Kaiser. I'm surprised they didn't check to make sure he was. Maybe they did. No, well, my grandfather is. Uh, he was originally. Uh, what is that stuff? What is that stuff? This is. This is. I'm the, I'm just, it's it's uh, Adam Wilder's t uh, light Europe, Europe stone light Europe textured earth. So it's the already going to try it. Ah, it's not that. So I'm not going to be quartering it. It's textured earth. Textured earth. Okay. That's neat. Now what you need now is uh, a tire to run through that. Oh, could you? Well, I was going to let that dry. Oh. And once, that, once that's dried, you could actually, you can, you can, you can give it a different color. Yeah. And you could use some of this, this stuff here. It's unfortunately, let that dry for a little bit. Does it dry hard? It does, yes. You can see itself here, it's actually dripped, dried, dried very hard. And it's dried to a point where it's like that. These things here, <coughs> and you can just pop that on the top. Meanwhile, we'll go back. This one's dried pretty well now. See how this one's another one I've got here? This one's dried. And what we can do. Robert also sells these little bricks. Now what you do with this is the same thing. You take the bricks, or let's take some individual ones here. Here. You can argue that you can argue this. You can actually add some bricks. I'm just showing you the only thing that limits you is your imagination. That must be quite a bit. That must be quite a bit. And the number of bricks you have. Yeah. You can do something like this. Or, Robert also sells the bricks. He sells the bricks like this. And here we've got some already pre-painted. Same thing. You've taken, you've taken your uh, bricks. So will come normally. Will come in a white color. You then paint it black and uh, spray it black, and then you dry brush or you paint the other ones like this. So now you can put something like this. Oh, actually, that. Something like this. So what scale is your tiger? 170. I know, and that's what I do. That's my scale. You know, I'm building the airfix one, but I'm not building the um, one that's set up for uh, something like that. So you can do all kinds of different. You can, you can all kinds. You can now, if you wanted to, you can buy the. This is just the stuff that here is very, very good. This comes in different types. That was voted. Now, the Airfix Tiger was voted the worst Airfix model ever. Now, now, I'm assuming this, this will be dry. This will be dry, and you can actually. Oh, you can actually. This, you can put some white. You can put some white glue on there. And have a little bush like that or something like that. So, I say you'd have to let this let that dry. You could put some bricks there. Then I would give it a wash again with with uh, some of the uh, with some of the oils or something like just to darken that down a little bit, just to give it a little bit of a. Otherwise, it's too bright, too stark. Yeah, All different types of you know things you can use. And for example, this one I did here. I just I spent more time dry brushing. Now you have your actual railway lines. I just painted those black, then went over it with some graphite. 
And then these two the little stain, that's an oil stain. Now, you can also buy, for example, there, it says engine oil. So just paint some engine oil, just drop some engine oil on it. And that will give you, uh, you know, like the street cars went back and forth there, it's dripped oil, or cars have dripped up and down there, dripped oil, and it's greasy. Greasy, exactly. <laughs> So, the only thing that limits you is your actual imagination. Let's see how this, you see how this is, this is drying now, it's like a, a puddle. See, I'm just, yeah, I'm just showing different techniques you can use. Yeah, I'm just showing different techniques you can use. I mean, you, can, you can spend hours and hours, you can get to a point where you want to do your own thing. But basically that's, that's, you know, that's the idea. So, all you, how I start to reiterate, do it, do it black, then dry brush it, then you can either use oils or uh, pastels or whatever, then you can, you can uh, leave it, if you have to just leave it that way, you can put, add water by just using the basic Tamiya flat, flat clear, get that in there, you can, add, add, you can actually add stuff here, for example, you can use the, this mud or you can make something up yourself, then you can put grass on there or you can put yeah, exactly, yeah. There we go. So you've got multiple there's multiple things you can use. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can, also, you, can also, you can also buy this stuff that is already pre-mixed. Instead of having to buy your oil, uh, buy your uh, oils or your tubes of oil and, and thin it yourself, you can also buy this stuff already pre pre-mixed. That stuff, just remember when you use it, you really got to stir it well. Yeah. yeah. Like it's, you gotta, it's good to have one of those stirring uh, mechanism things. Uh, yeah, battery I've power, had yeah. one for years. And if you've been using Humbro, you need one of those. Yeah. Believe me. Where'd you get it? Not the Humbro paint, I've got both. The mix? The mixer. Um, yeah. Because um, I put BBs in. Nice. It takes too long. No, yeah, see that's, that's far too thick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get some thinner. That's sunwall, that's where I got it. Am I playing sunwall? Sunwall. Sunwall. Okay, 10 bucks. All right. Just take some thin, just take some, this is just, this is just, I get this from uh, Curry's. It's the odorless stuff. Oh, yeah, I got that. It's sunwall models. Don't put sunwall because you'll end up with all sorts I know, of you get 50. Yeah. Not related. Sunwall right. models. I've been telling myself to go there for a while. Well, you can't anymore because they don't have a store anymore. I know. But um, the website is very, very comprehensive. They don't have everything by any means. But uh, they do have a good selection. And the thing is, if, 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 if it all fails, all you do is do a star again. Yeah, yeah. Spray green. Well, you know, you can, that base you can, up there. Yeah, you can never, you can never, uh, you know, make a mess of it. That's right. See that? That's that's far, just paint. Yeah, that's far too much, right? That's after a rain. Black covers everything. It's been raining. Yeah, that's all over again. Let that dry now. And then if you want to, if you want to go over again, let it dry. And then, and then you wait till it dries, and then dry brush it with some grey again. It'll be back. You'll be back to normal. That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I learned from the best. Uh, thank you very much. So oh, there you go. All right. So uh, here's the idea. This this is so thin. I've thinned this down, so it'll probably just that'll be I'll be fine. And you see how you got all different types of techniques and stuff. I'm gonna have to get into this. There's all you can use. Then this will dry, and it'll be, it'll soak in. Then if you if you're not happy if it's too much brown, just go over it again with some grey paint just to uh, to blend it. Yeah, exactly.
Well, let's face it, there's nothing to stop them using an airbrush and misting it. Yeah, you can do it as well. So the only, the only limit is basically your imagination. Right? You've got, now, Robert, do you sell these bricks? Yes. You've got, so you can actually buy the bricks. You can, I mean, I just like it this, I think it's like a plane. But you can actually put bricks, you can put some, uh, you can put some uh, uh, vegetation, you can put, uh, the, uh, by using the clear, XF clear, you can actually put some water on there. So I mean, and you're going to have your, I don't know, that might be a couple of figures here or something, or whatever you wish. And, uh, nice job. Oh, it's not that great. Well, yeah. <laughs> I said it was a nice job. I didn't say it was a great job. I said it was a nice job. That's the way, I, that's the way I like it. I like it. I like it. That's just, that's just a basic base, basically dry brushed, and then you put your vehicle on there. And all this stuff here is available at Hornet Hobbies. Hey, everybody's a man. Yeah, that's a good outfit down there. Yeah. Got a, yeah, I've got a, an order in there for a, um, a Tamiya Tiger One. This is dry. Yeah, this is dry. 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 This is a Barbican product produced by one of our Polish members who is world renowned for his skillful way of producing these beautiful pieces. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Are you okay? It's affecting you that much, huh? It's beautiful. I think I might need a moment. <laughs> I've only been doing this for 30 years. Maybe time for me to quit. <laughs> Join the uh, crocheting ladies up. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. See, it's a team effort. Yeah, I mean he's already he's already he's already done.